Hey everybody, this is Dragness here with Dragness Reviews. Go ahead and get yourself a nice drink and a comfy chair because today we are going to review Battle Planet Judgment Day. This is a rogue style planetary top down shooter. The premise of the game is you wander around tiny little planets while defending yourself against different creatures and mobs while performing different tasks. Alright, the game was developed in 2019, October 17th, so it's only about a couple months old. Let's go ahead and jump right on in. Alright, so it looks like right off the bat here we're treated with a nice, quick cinematic. Definitely plenty of audio to go with it, but definitely would have liked to have seen some more visual representation here. Here we go, we have landed on a planet, and the good news is the game says it supports controllers, and well, my Xbox One wireless controller is effectively working so far. So this is the tutorial to learn how to play. Looks like we follow this path here. Not gonna ask why this gun is just lying here. Not a gun, that's always good to have. Use the right stick to shoot. Oh, okay. So, um, I played other games with similar mechanics, so it's not too hard. You move around with one stick and fire in the direction with the other. Nasty. Now my boots are wet. Press the jump back button. What's the jump back button? Nope. Ah, looks so. Aha, okay, so it is the left trigger. So, move into the highlight radius to defuse the bomb. That's a pretty old but common mechanic. Stuck at an alien planet and bossed around by a tin can. <sighs> okay, so it looks like we've got a new special item. Uh, judging by the icon, some kind of explosion. He wants me to use the button item. <laughs> I don't know what button I'd be. Ah, right trigger. A function escape pod. This must be my lucky day. Oh, <laughs> I keep firing at the little like fly dragon thing that follows you. So it looks like we uh, finished something here, most likely the tutorial. Pretty straightforward, to be honest. Alright, so here we are at a new... Three, new planet. One. And we're starting something new. Ow. Looks like we need to defuse the bombs here. <laughs> I 
Alright, we've defused all the bombs and we've kept the planet stable. That's always a plus, I suppose. What's next here? Defuse the bombs again. Okay, that's easy enough. Control guard. It's a. Looks like each one of these steps is a wave, so that's common. Third wave, kill all enemies. Three, okay, that's two, always one, go. pretty straightforward, I'd imagine. Surrender. I'm a little worried about this one here with the shield. Too complicated. It's uh, looks like at some point he'll charge you, and you can just shoot him from behind. Let's see the price in your head. So far, over and overall, I would say I like the game. Very visually, aesthetically pleasing. Simple learning curve. Nothing too dramatic in order to learn. Um. I do think developers obviously need to work on their controller integration and what buttons represent what on the screen. Not saying it's a must, but it definitely helps. better of a weapon, but it has limited ammo. Alright, so yeah, if you have a chance to pick up a shotgun, definitely do so. That weapon kicks butt. Looks like we're on wave five, which is a boss. Three, two, one, go. Well, well, if that ain't kept a 377 on the loose, really calculations is. are never wrong. You never had a chance. Just keep moving. Don't get shot. Now. Your predictability bores me. I definitely need some help. There we go. There we go. Too easy. Too easy. are never wrong. Uh. 
But yeah, honestly, the only tip I can really give at this point is just keep moving. Use the different areas to kind of block off the attacks. Who's in control now? Bye bye to the memory of you. Not bad. That was pretty easy to be honest. Oh, sweet. We unlocked a character. Congratulations, player two. No, I'm kidding. Player two didn't help. They weren't even there. Wave five completed. Cool, I'm worth 3,000 something in bounty. Perk selection. Welcome to the perk selection prisoner. Okay, so it looks like we're prisoners to start with. That's always fun. put down in the comments if that's what we would have picked but that seemed logical to me I mean I will say that the visual effects in this game are pretty on par with what you would expect nowadays especially for games with this high unity um the graphic style definitely reminds me of something like a torchlight or it's kind of cartoonish slash comic book look. That gives you weapons. This is a shop. Okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. So we get upgrades. We've got health, raider gun, speed, jetpack, jetpack fuel, perk slot, and a drone. Right off the bat. Health is 50, we have 243, so I think that's a safe bet to go at. Looks like the next sets are 300 though, so that's quite a bit. For weapon upgrades, we have can do a shotgun for 200, which we don't have enough. Items, explosion. Explosion recharges faster. Uh, let's do that. Alright, so we only have 93 left, but... Looks like we could do like speed the next round most likely or something else, so that's really good. Well, this is like a part of a planet, or at least it used to be one. Well, dummy testing range there, that's pretty cool. So here we go, looks like we've uh, got another one, two, three, two, a few different waves to go. You're done for. Surrender. Contact. Let's see the price at your head. Okay, where's my explorer here? Don't let him escape! So if they actually hit you, that's cool. This definitely gets rather... Uh, rather crazy to be honest. That was definitely intense compared to the prior ones, I'll definitely say that. Next wave is kill all enemies, alright, let's Three, do that. Two, one, go. Your mine. All the fame glory. Target acquired. Go, go, go. 
goodbye to the memory of One you. Left. We're at the last home stretch. Whew. That was definitely intense still. So I will give that an A to this game. It does have an increased intensity. <laughs> Alrighty, that was definitely fun. I'm not gonna lie, that was fun. However, who? So we collected 212 chips. We'll definitely be able to upgrade some things. So let's uh, definitely go with speed. That leaves us another hundred for well, nothing else at this particular moment. But we have speed. That should help, right? Maybe. We didn't unlock a character. Let's go check that out real quick. See what we got. It looks like our default character is this one here, which is a raider. We unlock the spy. That looks interesting, though. The health is really low compared, but is faster and has about the same ammo. We haven't unlocked anything else just yet, though. Alrighty, well, I'm going to leave that there for today. Thank you for uh, joining me this evening. It was definitely a pleasure. If you would like to see more videos of this of gameplay of this particular one, please go down in the comments and let me know. If you give this guy a thumbs up, I'll even take... Let's start with 10 likes. I get 10 likes, I will do another video with this one. Alright, thank you, and uh, remember, like and subscribe, and if you want notifications, go ahead and hit that bell. Alright, have a good night.